be a senior senator from Louisiana, <laughs> Senator Cassidy. Um, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. And I have two to nominate, as you are aware. Uh, first is uh, Wendy Vitter. I'm very pleased to introduce Wendy for the United States District, uh, District Judge for the Eastern District of Louisiana. Ms. Vitter is joined by her daughter, Sophie, a medical student at LSU Health Science Center, her son, Jack, who attends Jesuit High School in New Orleans. Her twins, Lise and Ari, were unable to be here, but they are juniors at Georgetown and NYU, respectively. respectively. Also here with Mrs. Vitter is her husband, David, a Senate colleague, who uh, from 2005 until 2017, who served on this Judiciary Committee. Uh, Ms. Fitter earned her bachelor's degree from Sam Houston State University, then returned home to Louisiana to earn her law degree from Tulane University. She has worked on legal matters in both the public and private sectors. She worked for several years in the Arlene's Parish District Attorney's Office, eventually named Chief of the Felonies Trial Division. She then practiced in the private sector, focusing on maritime law, Jones Act, and commercial litigation in federal courts. Mrs. Vitter is also very involved in the New Orleans community. She served with the St. Catherine of Siena School Cooperative Club, the New Orleans chapter of the American Heart Association, the Legacy Donor Foundation, the Susan Komen of New Orleans, uh, uh, Mount Carmel Academy Strategic Plan Committee, the St. Vincent de Paul Society, and the Notre Dame Seminary as committee members, and the Cancer Association of Greater New Orleans. She's been a member of the National District Attorneys Association, the Louisiana State Bar, the New Orleans Bar, the National Diocesan Attorneys Association, and the Federal Bar Association. She's been recognized by the Victims and Citizens Against Crime, the Outstanding Prosecutor Award, among other accolades. In 2012, she began working with the Roman Catholic Church of the Archdiocese of New Orleans, where she serves as the chief legal officer covering 100 church parishes, 60 elementary and high schools, Catholic charities, Second Harvest Food Bank, the Hispanic Apostolate, Archdiocese Nursing Homes, and Project Lazarus, Project Lazarus, which serves to empower and support people in the New Orleans area living with HIV and AIDS. Now, uh, I should have a word about the process leading to her nomination. Um, Mr. Chair, as you know, I'm a gastroenterologist, not an attorney. So I felt like I needed a little help finding the best candidates. I formed a committee which is made up of lawyers, business folks, and community leaders from across the political spectrum, representing the diversity of Louisiana. You have to have a stellar resume to make it through the committee, but must also have a good professional reputation and solid character to put you at the top of the list. It is the creme de la creme, if you will. Uh, after the uh, committee narrows down the list of applicants to those who best meet criteria, I interview and then nominate to the president. So while Mrs. Vitter has my strong support, she first had to earn the endorsement of peers in the legal community and other leaders in Louisiana. And by the way, I think this process is why her nomination has received praise and support from the other side of the political aisle. Uh, her legal work and product and reputation transcend political affiliation. I'll note uh, Mitch Landrew, the mayor of New Orleans, praised her, saying he has known her and respected her for over 30 years, uh, saying, quote, I trust that Wendy will uphold the law in a fair and honest manner and will be an asset to the federal bench of the Eastern District of Louisiana. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Wendy is an accomplished, exceptional attorney with a breadth of experience practicing law. She'll serve the Eastern District well. I highly recommend Mrs. Vitter and urge her swift confirmation through this committee and the Senate. <laughs>